you. Hey guys, OG Playboy here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use some auto hotkey scripts. A lot of people have been asking how I had that stack table previewer window in my left hand side of my screen. I'm going to show you how I got that and it's completely free and how to set it up. Maybe a few tweaks and things like that and then I'm also going to leave a couple of links in the in the description for some other really useful auto hotkey scripts so I hope this helps some people alright so first thing open up a browser navigate over to autohotkey.com okay so once you get there just click download and save file click save file I'm gonna cancel because I already have this yeah basically that's it it's really easy you just download it and install and uh, it's just a next 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 thing you know and you don't change any of the settings you don't you don't need to so anyways yeah so once you have that all downloaded and installed then all you're gonna have to do is navigate over to a site which hosts uh, some scripts so 2 plus 2 is a good one um, this is the one for the stack table previewer so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the script right now this one seems pretty stable it's post 93 on the on uh, on the stack table previewer thread I'm gonna post a link to the thread in the description so you guys will be able to just navigate over there so anyways uh, basically what you're gonna do is you just highlight everything in here okay you got it all highlighted right click copy and minimize so then you go over here you go new create auto hotkey script alright so we'll call it say uh, TBL view sounds good you can name it whatever you want so anyways we did that right click go edit script now that you've created it alright basically what I do is I just uh, overwrite everything here so I highlight the whole thing right click paste which is what we copied off of the the website looks really complicated you don't have to worry about it and we click close save yes and now we have an auto hotkey script and as you can see double click it bang there's our window so this is our stack table preview window so let's see if it's working here so we're gonna open up a bunch of uh, we'll open up a bunch of cache tables just to make sure it's uh, it's all running well here so uh, actually well we'll open up some play money games uh, just to take a look at it So, stacking up a bunch of tables here, and as you can see, they're filling up this area. So it doesn't matter how many you put in, it just keeps filling up the area and shrinking the tables down even smaller. Now, this is not going to be placed in the right spot for everybody right off the hop, so you're going to have to go in and edit a few things. It's a little bit of trial and error depending on your screen resolution and things like that, but I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we'll close these up. Close this up. We'll go edit, edit script. Okay, so basically these first uh, variables here are the ones you're going to be dealing with, the first four. So this one here is, it's all self-explanatory. It says right beside host preview window width. So that's the width of the window that you're actually going to use. So I um I already have this tweaked out for my monitor, so I'll just show you basically what it's gonna what's gonna happen here. Um, so we'll change the top one to 1100, and we'll change this one to 10. 40 1040 and the second one we're gonna set the host this is the position of the actual window so we'll set this to zero which means the top corner of my main screen up here and we're gonna change this one um, I do the, I, I put it as a negative number always the reason for that is I don't want to I don't care about seeing the top of this window here like this uh, this bar that the title bar I don't care about seeing it I 
I want to see a little bit so that I can reach up and just grab it and pull it down if I want to close it real quick or something like that. But other than that, I don't really want to see it uh, and you have it taking up uh, screen space. So I set this to minus 19. Whoops, 19. And I close. So basically when I close, it saves when I say yes. And now when I open it up, bingo. So now it takes up half my screen, which is exactly what I want, the way I have my table set up. So when I open a table, it takes up this space, keeps my Nash equilibrium chart visible, and it gives it so that uh, so it makes it so that my the thumbnails that appear in my stack table previewer um, don't end up too large or too uh, too tiny until they re absolutely need to be. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, you can get away with like with 12 tables; they're still fairly visible, which uh, is great, and you can even when you add a few more. Um, this size is for my monitor resolution, which uh, I believe is 1920 by 1080. So yeah, this is 1080p, this, this monitor. So uh, those were the, yeah, the, that was the settings for, these, for this monitor. Okay, so yeah, see as, as you can see, 20, is it 20 tables now? One more. 20 tables fits really nicely and even even when you get 24 it doesn't get that much smaller it just shrinks them up a little bit more so yeah and it'll keep going on and on it doesn't matter how many tables you want to open it'll keep just uh, adding to the stack so if you want a 30 table if you're a 30 or 35 tabling beast you'll still have lots of room okay so anyways Basically, that's uh, that's how that works. Um, a few of the other s nice scripts I use are I'll sh I'll show you what they are. Is uh, actually I think there's only one other script that I uh, that I want to share, and that would be the table counter. Okay, so what this does is uh, it basically keeps track. I keep it here. It keeps track of how many tables the top number is that you have currently open and the bottom is how many tables you've played since you reset the the counter so if you right click on this it's you can minimize it to the tray and then it shows a simple uh, number slash number here which is what what the the actual box shows up here and you can also click reset on it so that you can reset this number here on the bottom so this is a pretty handy script. So I'll leave uh, I'll leave links in the description to both of these as well as a few others. There's some uh, some scripts like the sit and go opener that might be helpful to some people who don't have Table Ninja. Uh, there's the there's also um, uh, Stars Cash, which is for Cash players. I don't know if any of you are Cash players here, but um, it basically has hotkeys and bot, uh, pot betting and things like that. Um, pretty much everything you need to play cash games or whatever to automate it a little, make things a little easier. So anyways, um, let me know what you guys think about this video and any questions or anything like that, post them in the, post them in the description. Um, I wanted to ask uh, what you guys want to see. I know you guys want to see 18 man strategy videos um, and I know that I said that I would be posting some but um, I've been in, I've been talking to a, quite a few of the regs at the 18 men's and a lot of them uh, have told me like they really don't want me posting strategy videos it's like free strategy videos of uh, 18 men's because like the edges are already small enough at those games right now that the they don't want me giving out free information which I also thought about it myself and I don't want to be giving out free information either you know like uh, there's no point in me making my own games tougher than they have to be I will I will post uh still keep posting results and I will post some uh maybe some MTT stuff and some generalized strategy possibly 
but I'd like to know any other things that you guys would like to learn or like to know or whatever and and hear about. You know, like maybe, uh, I don't know. You guys let me know what you want to hear about. All right. Thanks. If you want to see more content from me, click the subscribe button in the top left. If you like the video, click the like button. Leave any comments down below, anything you want to know about, any topics you guys want me to do a video on. All right. Thanks. Bye.